Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you're at, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. Welcome to my craft studio and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to make another amazing fun card using the absolutely lovely Seize the Day stamp set and it's coordinating Seize the Day dies, which I have over here. We are going to make a gatefold belly band card today using this amazing new color scheme of Starry Sky, the amazing in color, Melon Mambo, one of my all time favorites, and Bermuda Bay, which complements both of these absolutely gorgeously. All right, so let's get to it. If you're in my in color club for these new in colors, then you've got a kit. Um, this is one of the cards that my members get free in their um, product kit. The pieces are all here, uh, ready to go for them. And they just got to stamp and make the card themselves. So it's awesome. It's a really great fun club. For those of you who are watching along and are not in my club, have no fear. I will go through the measurements as we make the card and I'll also have them posted in the description of this video so you can always check back there to see what it is you need to make this card. So here we can, I'll show you how the card works. So this belly band is just going to slide right on off and then we've got this fun oop, upside down. <laughs> we've got this fun gatefold with the octopus stamp there in the inside. So again that's just going to slip the belly band Oh, of course it's not gonna there we go it's just gonna slip right on there and slide down so it's a really fun interactive card it's just a little something different um, that you can send to your loved ones in the mail so love that fold love that idea let's start creating so to start with we have a starry sky starry sky card base and this measures eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at two and an eighth from in from either end so two and an eighth in here two and an eighth in here okay so what we want to do is score or fold on those score lines okay just making sure that they line up we'll take our bone folder and we'll just burnish these edges Okay, it should meet nicely in the center. Perfect. If it doesn't, you can just, you know, kind of manipulate it a bit to get it to match. And then with your bone folder, just crisp that edge and it'll lay exactly how you want it to go. So there we've got our base. I've got a little something on there. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to put these DSP panels on the front. Now these two pieces are from the 2022-2024 in color 6x6 designer series paper packages. So you get eight sheets of each of the brand new in colors. These are the two designs that you get for each and on the back of course they have different designs as well. I love the patterns that have been chosen this year. I think they're going to be amazing on so many different projects. So we can mix and match these however you want on the front of the card and to attach them I'm just going to use my stamp and seal. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit on the top, the bottom and the center. And you should get a nice even border all the way around your designer paper. And when you're putting on the second side, be mindful of where you're lining it up so that it lines up roughly with the other side as well. So that when you look at it quickly, those it's a nice straight line across. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to make the inside of the card. So as you saw, the inside of this card had two layers. It had a Bermuda Bay background mat and then it had the basic white with the stamped octopus so the measurements for that are four by five and a quarter for the bermuda bay and three and three quarters by five 
for the basic white. Before I attach those together, I am going to pull out my Bermuda Bay ink pad and the octopus stamp. I love, love, love this image. And I'm just going to stamp him in the corner down here off the side of the paper just to create a really nice interest and the inside of the card always adds a little a little something of course it always helps to stamp the envelope too, a little sneak peek of what your recipient is going to see on the inside so let's attach that and then we can take this whole piece And with some stamp and dimension or stamp and seal and I'm going to open up the card and I'm going to place it right in the center keeping an even border again along all four sides that's the inside of our card complete so for now I'm going to set this aside okay and now we're going to create our belly band We have got some pieces here for me to show you. First, to create the belly band, I've just taken a strip of Melon Mambo cardstock that is eight and a half inches long by one and a quarter inches wide. It doesn't need to be this long. We are gonna trim some of it off, but I like to keep it long so that I can make sure it um, fits perfectly and then trim it. So eight and a half by one and a quarter. And then I've got basic white. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at on this sheet over here with the measurements on it for me. I've got a three by three scrap here, which is gonna be for stamping. And then I've got a two and a half by three and three quarter piece that's gonna get layered on my two and three quarter by four piece of Bermuda Bay. So those are gonna get layered like that. And this one is going to be used to do some stamping. Now you'll also need a scrap piece of Melon Mambo um, as I had here, so roughly like this. I have gone ahead and pre-cut this beautiful foliage, um, which is this gorgeous die here from the sea dies. I've done that ahead of time just to speed up the video. So you'll wanna run that through and cut one of those out from your, um, your dies as well. If you're a member of my club, the die cut um, foliage is already in there waiting for you. All right, so let's put this card all together. Um, we're going to need Bermuda Bay ink, Melon Mambo ink, and the Starry Sky, as I mentioned. So I'm going to open, set that aside. I'm going to open up all three ink pads. Now on our three by three scrap, I'm going to stamp another octopus in Bermuda Bay, just like we did on the inside. Okay, so he's gonna fit on there. And with these distinctive stamps, remember you don't wanna push super, super hard. You wanna be able to see all of the shading and all of the details that these stamps have to offer. So ink it up nicely, gentle stamping, and you'll get a nice um, detailed image. Then we're gonna stamp two of the starfish on here wherever they're gonna fit. We are gonna die cut these, so it doesn't matter where they're getting stamped. So that was in Melon Mambo. And then, that's all we need to stamp on that one. So we'll set that aside. And now we'll do our stamping on this feature piece of our belly band. And for that, we're gonna need the Starry Sky. Oh, I was afraid was gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Starry Sky. And I'm going to stamp the day, the stamp sees the day in the corner down here. Now this would be great for a graduation card or somebody going on a new adventure or starting a new job. It's just a, a wonderful, wonderful sentiment to send to somebody um, who's starting something new or finishing, you know, like graduation. <clears throat> so we've got that. And then we'll take our little bubbles. These are absolutely adorable. As I'm sure if you've watched my other videos, you've heard me say, um, we're gonna just stamp a few of those randomly. And I'm pressing very lightly so I get a nice um, image. 
just snap them. Maybe one more here. Okay. Now, all of our stamping is complete. I'm going to close up these ink pads before my arm gets landed in them. Okay, so we're going to attach this piece here onto our Bermuda Bay. Oops. Nice and straight, even border all the way around, just like that. And then we can create the front piece. So I've got my pink foliage, as I mentioned, that I cut out previously. And we are going to use our scissors, our paper snips, and we're just going to trim the very end of this off, just like that. And then I want to position this so that that's where I just cut off is going to line up with the white, basic white at the bottom here. And for just a little bit of fun, I'm going to have this foliage sitting off the edge just a little bit. Okay, so that's where I want it to go. Now you can use your multi-purpose glue or your um, fine tip glue that I call fussy glue. You could use this and you could glue this whole thing down flat. Um, I like the way this one looks where it's not completely flat and it gives it a little bit of dimension. So to create that, what I've done is use my stamping dimensionals. And I'm just going to put one here. And the reason I'm putting one right there is because I know that my octopus is going to cover that section. <clears throat> so that piece there can be set aside. And then we're going to do some die cutting. And if you don't have the dies, of course, you can always fussy cut, but the dies make this so easy. And they cut out all in between each of these octopus legs, which would be very hard to do with scissors. Um, if you're good with an X-Acto blade, of course, you could do it as well. But for me, I love the coordination of the, the dies with the stamp sets. So I always buy them when they're available, for sure. So we're just going to glue, or die cut, sorry. We're going to put these on. Oh, let me just line that up. So I'm using the brand new magnetic platform. I love this. I'm so happy it's finally available. The sandwich for our stamp cut and emboss machine is um, our base plate, number one, number five, magnetic plate, and then number three, one, just one number three clear on the top. So we'll go ahead and we'll wheel that through the machine. here. Um, so beautifully those images cut out. Now if you're looking at this and thinking, oh no, look at the marks, it's okay. This is self-healing so those marks will um, just cover over and you won't even barely be able to feel them. So we've got one octopus and one starfish so we just need to do one more starfish. We'll put that number three plate over top again. We'll quickly wheel that through the machine. Okay, so there is our final starfish. We'll put this away. All right, so we can go ahead and finish creating our centerpiece for our belly band. So as I mentioned, I've put that dimensional there because our octopus is going to cover that. So that is where I'm going to place the octopus's head, right where that first dimensional was that's holding our foliage in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put another dimensional down here. And then with my mini dimensionals, I'm going to just put a couple down here so that his legs are also going to stay in place. So I'll peel those backs off. And these are also going to touch the foliage in some spots, so they will hold it in place as well. So I'm just being careful that I'm not gonna cover my sentiment with my 
octopus here. I love that he's hanging off the edge. Again, it adds a little bit of extra feature and creativity to the card. And then with a mini dimensional again, we're gonna put one right in the center of our starfish. Peel that off. We'll stick one up here. And then one more. We're gonna layer them in behind so that they look like they're staggered here. So just tucking one underneath the other like that. We have that. And then for some bling, let's add some beautiful opal rounds. I was super excited to see that these carried into the new catalog as well. So we'll just go ahead and add a few of those. There's two different sizes on here. So we'll, we'll use a few of the larger ones. Mm. I'm thinking three is probably lots on there. Just gives that little bit of sparkle and bling and they're nice that um, opal-y look for the sea. It's perfect. All right, so that's created. Our gatefold part of our card is created. The last thing we wanna do is to create the belly band. Now, we this is the simplest way that I can show you how to do it. I like simple. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the cardstock in place here and coincidentally this lined paper will help to hold it straight along the line and then I'm just going to fold this. Now I don't want to do it super tight. I do want this to be a little bit loose because if it's too tight our band won't slide up and down on our card. So I've bent it here and then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it over and give it a little bit of room. Making sure that these pieces are overlapped and flush means that you've got it straight, um, your belly band straight. So you can go ahead if you choose and you can trim some of this off um, to make this less or you can just go with it and put your adhesive in between um, these two edges. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave mine as is. I'm gonna put adhesive here and here, I'm gonna fold that over and attach it down. And then we'll test it. It's going to slide beautifully up and down. So that is not a problem at all. Now to keep it from, um, to keep it nice and flat, now that I know it works, I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just gonna crease those edges while it's on the card. All right, so now we can just attach our lovely feature that we made here. And to do that, we're going to, again, just put some adhesive. You wanna be very mindful that you don't go too far and you don't get it wider than this piece, otherwise you're going to see the glue. So I'm just attaching that to the center, making sure it's straight on either edge, centered on the card. Give it a little pressure to adhere it. And there's our beautiful gatefold belly band card using the Seize the Day stamp set. We've got this beautiful octopus on the inside as well. And it was a lot of fun to create using this color scheme that I now have fallen in love with. Um, Starry Sky, Bermuda Bay, and Melon Mambo. I'm sure you'll be seeing much more of that color combination in the future here on Bird's Nest Designs. So everyone, thank you. I hope you enjoy the remainder of your day. I hope this video has inspired you to be a little bit crafty and creative. If any of the products shown today um, are things that you would like to add to your craft stash at home, then please visit my online store from anywhere in Canada at createwithbirdsnest.ca has all the links and you can purchase any of these products from my online store. There is a list in the description, as I mentioned, with all of the measurements that you will need, as well as a list of all of the products I've used. And each one of those has a link directly to my online store as well. So again, thank you so, so much for being here. It was so much fun to stamp with you. Uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone.